Are you looking for a tool that can enhance the quality of your videos, that can change the file formats of your videos? Basically use AI technology to make the quality of your videos better. I got a great tool for you. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it in a couple of clicks. And the good thing about this is it's super fast. You don't need any knowledge about video editing and it's all done on your computer yourself. So let's jump into this tool and start editing videos. Here I'm in Wondershare UniConverter and where I want to go is the video section. You can see here we have video. We want to work on a video, so let's go to video section and then we're gonna look for the video enhancer. You can find it right here. In the video enhancer, we're gonna add our video and that video we're gonna make better quality. So let's first add our file. Let's click on add file and I'm gonna add this video. When I look at this video, you can see the video is blurry. I wanna make it sharper and I wanna improve the quality. You can see here the face is really blurred out. The focus was not on her face, so I want to fix that. So let's click on open and it's gonna import this video. Now for this video, I'm going to do quality restoration and I'm also gonna look at face enhancement because I wanna improve the quality of the video and I also wanna improve the quality of the face. So first I'm gonna do quality restoration and then we're gonna look at the result. And we're also gonna do face enhancement and then we're gonna compare them next to each other to see how the result will be. So let's first click on quality restoration and all we actually have to do is click on preview to look at a preview. It's gonna analyze this video now using AI technology and then we're gonna look at it. And here is the preview. On the left side was the before and on the right side is the after and look how sharp that got. This was all done with just one click. You can go through the video and look at the video, but I'm gonna export this video because I wanna compare them next to the face enhancement and also next to the original video. Then we can see this better. So let's click on export all and now it's gonna export this video. All right, the video is done with exporting. So on the left side, you can see the before and on the right side is the after. And I just did that in a couple of clicks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same video and I'm gonna do the face enhancement. So let's use the same video because this video was pretty good as an example. And I'm gonna click on face enhancement. In face enhancement, we can select from original. That means that the resolution is not gonna change. We can do 2X, this will be a 4K video or we can do 4X and this will be an 8K video. Let's do a 4K video and we're gonna enhance the face. And all we have to do is export or preview. If we click on preview, again, AI is gonna analyze the video and we can see a quick preview of the result. And there is the preview. I zoomed in already on the video and look at that. Look at the before and on the right side is the after. I'm just gonna export this video because I wanna see the whole video. So let's click on export. And here is the preview on the left side was the before and on the right side is the after and look how sharp that got. This was all done with just one click. The next thing what I would like to do is to compress a video. I have a video, it's a bit big in file size and I want to make it smaller. I don't wanna lose the quality, I just wanna have a smaller file size. So this is the video I would like to compress. It's MP4 video and it's almost 147 megabytes. I wanna make that smaller. To compress this video, we're gonna go back to the homepage of Wondershare UniConverter. And again, in the video section, we can see we have compressor here. So let's click on add files in the compressor and I'm gonna select my video. This is the video, click on open and it's gonna import this video. On the left side, we have the original settings of my video. You can see the file format, the resolution, the file size and the length of the video. And this is what the size will be when I compress this video. When we click on reduce file size, we can select from prioritize quality, prioritize size or AI compression. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prioritize quality because I wanna keep a good quality of the video, but I want to have it a bit smaller in size. So let's say this video is 147 megabytes. I'm gonna move this a bit to the right to say, let's say 110. In the advanced settings, you can also change the codec. You can change the audio codec, resolution, frame rate, etc. I'm gonna leave them as they are and I'm gonna click on OK and I'm just gonna compress my video. All right, the video is done with compressing and let's have a look at the result. On the left side, you can see the before and on the right side is the after. And you can see the file size is a lot smaller, but the quality stays the same. At least I can't notice any difference. Now, the next thing what I would like to do is I would like to convert a video from one file to another. We can also do that in UniConverter. 
So let's go back to the homepage of UniConverter. Back in the homepage of UniConverter, we can see we have Converter here. I'm gonna click on Add Files and I'm gonna add my files. Now I have this video, it's a vlog style video. I wanna change the file format from MP4 to Move. So let's click on Open. It's gonna import this video. And again, the same screen as we had before, but this time we're gonna change it from MP4 to Move. Here we can select what kind of size of video we want. Let's do 4K video. The original was also 4K. I'm gonna keep it at 4K. If you want to change some settings of the video, you can also do that here. You can change the audio encoding, the frame rate, the color space, etc. And the same for the audio. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I just want to convert this from MP4 to move. And all I have to do is click on convert all and it's gonna convert this video. And there it is, it is done with converting and that's all I had to do. And that's all I did. I just clicked a couple of times and it was super easy to do. And it's all done inside on the share UniConverter 17. Thanks for watching this video. Check the link in the description so you can download it too and use it yourself and catch you on the next one.